you mesmerized by her beauty right now, but let's hear it for the gorgeous girl. Come on, everybody. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request Mr. Sergey Kunashin and Mr. Naveen Anand to please come on stage and welcome Carl Keefe with a big hand here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, friends. I know you all have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Kaki here on board the Oil Flame. What a moment this is. Do you want still more photographs? Okay. Oh, yeah. They want still more photographs. All right. Solo, solo. So, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, could you, all right. on the right now, just for a few more seconds that we're going to begin, all right? You'll never be satisfied, right? I'm sure you're going to go ahead be taking about a thousand pictures till you will want more. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kalki, you, I need for you to be here. I need sir and uh, uh, Mr. Kunashin and uh, Mr. Anand to be right here, the center stage with Kalki. All right, we're going to begin. And now my first question, of course, I'm going to go ahead and ask all of, all three of you some questions here. So my first question is for a managing director. Uh, Mr. Kunashin, I need for you to uh, let us know that how do you feel to have the gorgeous, the beautiful Kalki as a brand ambassador for our flame? I think. I have, oh, you already have, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you already answered this question, how you can feel staying next to such a beauty. Of course, we feel extremely excited. But uh, I also feel that uh, we have a lot in common. And, uh, of course, we made a very thorough search. And uh, uh, when we decided to offer this um, collaboration, this partnership to Karki, and uh, one of the things which made me very fascinated that the such a beautiful lady, have such a diverse and a broad interest in life. And uh, really, um, I think it's a, a true example of a modern women, uh, which is both beautiful, extremely smart, challenging herself and challenging environment about her, around herself and uh, pushing boundaries. And I think it is very close to our culture, to our company. So that's what I feel. I feel very proud and happy. Thank you. Perfect. All right. That was wonderfully answered here, sir. And now, Kaki, let me go ahead and ask you first of all, thank you for being on board. So, such an honor to have you here with us. So my same question will be, how does it feel for you to be a part of our Flame family? Well, it feels great for me. Uh, although today is the official day that I'm coming publicly uh, here in front of press and talking about Ori Flame. I've actually been with them since April, and I got to meet uh, co colleagues of Ori Flame from all over India. Uh, and that was a very personal and uh, exceptional experience where I really got to see how the women of all the small towns in India are so involved with this company. Uh, so my first thing about Ori Flame was uh, just watching women become entrepreneurs, women who are, you know, uh, at home, uh, become their own entrepreneurs and going out and working for Oriflame. I find that really, really inspirational. And the second uh, reason, of course, is, uh, you know, making this beautiful change. Uh, uh, seeing a, a brand which, which looks to the future, uh, where I think we live in a, in a society today where we are technologically advanced enough to take care of each other and our environment but we haven't reached the stage where we're using it responsibly. We have the technology, 
but uh, a lot of companies are not using that technology responsibly, and I find it really forward-thinking of Oriflame to already be thinking about, you know, uh, getting rid of uh, plastic beads and, and things like that, where you are uh, taking care of your environment as well as the people in your company. So very, very glad to be part of this. Thank you. That was so beautifully uh, explained by Kalki. I think it's very, very important in today's time to actually be the change, not just a change in a generic way, but yes, to do something better for the earth. And that's exactly what Oriflame believes in. And you, as a wonderful uh, talent here, believes in that too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Naveen Anand, the new senior director of regional marketing, Oriflame, who has recently taken over the mantle. So now, my question for Mr. Anand will be the same. How does it feel to be in Oriflame family? Very, very excited. Very excited to be here with two decades in direct selling and I've been in India and last four years I was in US, worked on many markets, but it's a great feeling to be here back in India and with Oriflame. A company which has had 50 years of history, a company which has big belief in safe products, a company which has big belief in science and R&D, but I think above that, a company which has a heart, a company which empowers women and a company which does not only talk, but walks the talk when it comes to sustainability. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, very happy to be here. Thank you for having me here. Fantastic. Now I request Kalki and Adigri to please take their seats here on the dais. All right, well, I'm sure you've understood what's going to happen now. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, this was a beautiful glimpse into the world of change which you just experienced. But now the session is open to the question that you have in your mind. So any queries about anything, you may go ahead and ask. I now open the floor for the question and the answers uh, with the esteemed guests here and would also like to invite Ms. Shikha Duggal to please join us here for this session. Welcome to you, ma'am. So please go ahead and ask your questions. You can raise your hands and the mic. Yes, all right. Towards my right, right towards the end. Good afternoon. Uh, congratulations, Karki. Uh, I'd like to know that what is the secret of your inner beauty and outer beauty? <laughs> wow. Um, well, the secret of my outer beauty is not very secret. It's my parents. Uh, <laughs> I think my parents are responsible for my beauty. Uh, but the secret of my inner beauty, I think, is... Uh, that you have to constantly keep changing, you have to keep evolving. And uh, when you do that, when you work on yourself and you accept yourself and the changes that are happening to you both in your body and in, in, you know, in your emotions and in your mind, you keep evolving and I think that makes for beautiful people. Beautiful. Hi, uh, for celebrating the Golden Jubilee year for Oriflame. It's indeed very nice to know that uh, you have your social responsibilities as well as like, you know, you are looking after the nature as well. Like. Uh, my question is to Kalki, you being a brand ambassador for this product, you joined, congratulations for that. Uh, how your, your responsibility going to be towards the brand as well as in a social way also actually? So, I mean, I think one of the reasons I'm with Oriflame is because I myself have grown up in a very sort of uh, sustainable environment. You know, I grew up uh, in Pondicherry in, in Oroville, which is a very sustainable community, which believes in uh, organic, uh, you know, growth, uh, giving back to the land, employing local people. Uh, uh, it's, of course, women and education of the girl child has always been on top of my list. Uh, and, uh, and all of these ethics, I think, are, are very much part of Oriflame as a brand. Um, you know, there are lots of things that we are constantly trying to do in our own lives to, to be a little, more brand, a little more, like, environmentally conscious. Uh, but when you have a brand like this, uh, you know, you're working on a much bigger scale because uh, Oriflame has about three million people around the world working for them and through them. 
and you know, it just spreads in a, in a much more vast scale than what I do at home. For example, at home, I'm now working on separating my bins, you know, separating uh, wastes, plastic and, and, and dry waste and wet waste. But these are very small things that all of us can do. Uh, but then there are, you know, uh, brands themselves, when they come on board, you're spreading out to a much vaster uh, audience. Uh, Kalki, if you would like to change a beautiful change in Bollywood industry where you come from, what would be that change actually? <laughs> Very good question. Um, a beautiful change in Bollywood. I think uh, it's actually already started happening, but I think uh, writing uh, should have a lot more priority um, because content is what is king nowadays, especially with the content that web, web has started bringing in. Uh, so I think that uh, we should honor our writers, uh, give them a lot of importance, uh, because good writers are what make good movies. Wow. So I'm sure you would have loads of questions. Please go ahead. This is the moment you wouldn't get this opportunity again. There. On my left, yes. Can we have the mic there? All right. Hi. Um, so let me just begin. Congratulations on uh, the 50 years. And Kalki, I'm a huge fan of yours. I think you're extremely thoughtful about everything you take on. And I really love that about you. Now, one thing that I have uh, heard throughout the uh, presentations was women empowerment, how uh, Oriflame is supporting women empowerment. I want to know what is the most essential, what do you feel is the most essential to empowering women? Oh, oh, wow. What's the most essential thing? I think it's, um, you know, I think right now it's, it's about what, what we as women, uh, the confidence that we need to have. I think all of us uh, are, are living in a, in a society now where we have education, we have jobs for women. Uh, but there's still a, a sort of confidence lacking. Like I know a lot of women who feel uh, the pressure uh, to get married still, or you know, once they get married, that maybe they should stop working for a while. Uh, and, and this is also because of, of, of certain laws and, and things that, that are still patriarchal. For example, uh, we have maternity leave, but we don't have paternity leave uh, in the same uh, uh, equal, equal um, way. So I feel that that, that, that dis domestic responsibility needs to be shared out more uh, at home in order for it to work in the office environment too. You can't have women being empowered in the office but not at home. So I think that balance is, is our big challenge uh, in today's time. I'm in complete agreement. Thank you. If, if you don't mind, I can add on this question. Sure. Um, we have a community of Swedish companies in India and uh, quite often we have uh, uh, equality as a discussion point because of this is um, a very sound subject for uh, for European companies and for European uh, culture and here we try to behave the same way and when you ask this question to Karki I was thinking how would I answer this question and I would add that uh, I think respect is actually a good word we need to respect women as an equal part of the society we are not the same men and women, I and mean, God, God's created us different, but we have the same rights and we have the same opportunities. And this is what we try to embrace, that uh, everyone have an equal opportunity to participate in the social life, in the business life, etc., etc. But the choice, of course, always back to people, but the society should treat equally and respect equally men and women. This would be a, a kind of our standpoint for the women empowerment. Thank you, sir. Uh, hi, congrats uh, on completing 50 years. This is Roshni from Best Media Info. Uh, my question is uh, uh, for either Ms. Dukul or Mr. Anand, whoever. Um, it, it will, you know, with hashtag beautiful change, the new campaign that you guys are launching, will there be a mass media campaign which will follow on? And how well and uh, how far have you been using digital to really promote? Because Oriflame is not a really uh, retail uh, strong brand. It's, it's more direct sales. So how big 
part does digital play in your marketing? Uh, I thing? think thank you for asking us this question. Uh, digital comes across as a big, big opportunity for us. And through this campaign, I think we are very proud to first to introduce it to you. In fact, uh, you're the one sitting out here. In fact, globally, India is the first market to introduce this campaign, and we really feel proud to do that. The bigger leg of this campaign would definitely run on digital. We are going to, this is not just a campaign for a month or so. It's what the brand believes in and what the brand wants to promote. It's all about basically collecting people and their stories from all across the globe to create this change, to create this momentum. And there is nothing better than digital that will play on this. And uh, should we expect a mass media campaign or uh, that's not our... Uh, well, we are working more on digital to this because we are digitally connected definitely across the globe. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Hi, uh, my name is Rini and I, I first of all want to congratulate you for so many years of uh, women empowerment. A little, um, you know, example of that is 15 years ago, I think about more than 15 years ago, my mom had uh, started selling these uh, from her house and she was just a homemaker then, we were in school and that gave her a lot of confidence to actually start her own business in textiles later. So thank you so much for giving opportunities to women in smaller towns of India to do something which no one had thought of at that uh, in, uh, decade. And now my question to Kalki uh, is, uh, Kalki, you're like this, uh, you know, this vision of a strong woman who always does what she feels is right. And uh, nowadays, a lot of young girls and women have these unreal expectations or benchmarks of beauty. And they want to look the certain way or be a certain way to, to kind of get this false gratification from people, other people, and not from within. Uh, what would be your message to those young girls who look up to you? Um, I think that, you know, beauty is, is such a vast thing and, uh, you know, we, we tend to look at beauty from a very, very commercial angle and I would just say that uh, uniqueness is another kind of beauty and uh, what you stand out in is what makes you beautiful. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I, you know, I have always been told I'm the unconventional actor and this and that and uh, I've embrace that unconventionalness because it is who I am and and that's actually why I am sitting here today and uh, and choosing a brand like Oriflame and they're choosing me uh, you know so there is a place for uh, for beauty which is not necessarily uh, the just the exterior idea of beauty and and it's up to you to to hone that personality you know thank you thank you so much